welcome to Newsy Baloozy's Quick Dip episode of World News. We're taking you to the stars this week with space news and nature news and tech news too, of course, and a rather sticky but sweet rescue. So let's dive on in. First up, the epic space news. The head of NASA has confirmed the space agency will be officially investigating if aliens have already visited Earth. Nina, Nina, and when Bill Nelson says aliens, he means organic or robotic. Yes, they're going to try and figure out what those tic-tac-looking, unidentified aerial phenomenon were that Navy pilots saw on their radar back in 2004. <laughs> Speaking of robots, a new type of artificial skin developed in the University of Glasgow could give robots near human levels of sensitivity to touch. Creepy. Speaking of creepy, did you hear that Google has sent home an employee for saying that the company's artificial intelligence chatbot, you know, the computer program designed to simulate conversation with humans, like at a bank or an airline, well, he said that was sentient. <laughs> Sentience is a fancy way of saying the AI is able to perceive and or understand things like a human. OMG! Moving on to our second story. We all know plastic pollution is a big problem, and we've discussed many solutions on Newsy Pelosi before, but never one as creepy crawly as this. We're talking plastic eating superworms. Yuck. <laughs> Researchers in Australia have discovered that a beetle can eat a type of plastic called polystyrene. You mean the beetle's larvae? That's one of the most common forms of plastic, like for making styrofoam. Yep, and it's not easy to recycle. Enter the larvae of a certain species of beetle, usually called the superworm, <laughs> which can eat through the polystyrene thanks to some special stuff in their gut called enzymes. Happy to say that the researchers are trying to replicate or copy this enzyme in a lab, and that will be used to gobble up the world's excess plastic and not an army of superworms. Thank goodness for that. <laughs> Next, and finally, we like to leave you with that oddball story to keep a smile on your face. <laughs> well, if this doesn't, then maybe that's because you don't like chocolate or fall in. Yes, if you don't like chocolate, this would be your worst nightmare. But who doesn't like chocolate? I do. I do. <laughs> Firefighters had a strange call from the Mars M&M candy factory in the U.S. state of Pennsylvania a few days ago. Two people doing maintenance on a tank tank partially filled with chocolate while they um fell in. Yum. Yeah, but I'm not sure how yum it was. The rescuers had to cut a hole out of the bottom to release them from the sugary sludge. It's still yum. <laughs> It's unclear how they fell in or if they were injured, though they were taken to the hospital for evaluation. Talk about a sticky situation. <laughs> all right, that's all we have this week. But if you want more terrifically terrible puns and fun topics to chew on. Get it? Yes. <laughs> Then do check out our full podcast, Newsy Paloozy, which you'll find on any podcast app. They're not terrifically terrible. Okay, yeah, they're actually like. <laughs> We've done over a hundred episodes of fun and informative stories, and they're all pretty timeless. So dive on in and have a listen. Alrighty then, we'll see you next week and in the coolest news pool around, Newsy Pa.